Rusty's dropping in, and Corey's gonna help him celebrate his family. I came into LA Inc. today to get a tattoo of the symbols for first son, Japanese, with the samurai sword going through it. What's this for? First son is really important in Japanese family. Are you the first son? I'm, like, I'm the first son. My father growing up put a lot of pressure on me to be the best, to do the best. So uh, who wrote this out for you? Uh, my grandma actually wrote that for oh, me. Oh, good. Yeah. At least you know what it means. Yeah, exactly. Kanji is always one of those uh, kind of iffy things, because I don't read kanji. I've heard some crazy stories of the wrong uh, meaning getting represented. It's cool. I like That's it. good? Yeah, I like it a lot. Growing up, my dad was, um, was really strict and put a lot of pressure on me. So we didn't go get along real well. I mean, every, anything I did, what, nothing was ever good enough for him. My father was also a first son, and then I think he kind of just passed that on to me. If I got an A, why didn't you get an A plus? If I got first place, why didn't I win by more? It was always, why didn't you do better? How about your grandparents? Pretty, pretty traditional, or? Oh, very. People could use a little bit of honor and self-respect. Discipline. They're probably full of that. Oh, discipline. Discipline. Oh, discipline. Yes, yeah. that's that's kind of where the sword comes in. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted the sword going through it, um, just because it kind of signifies a relationship with my father. Once I got older, he kind of saw what I did with my life and everything. He's kind of eased up. You think you're going to be disciplined? Uh, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm big time. Yeah, I'm pretty strict, especially with kids? my first son. Yeah, well, I've, yeah. Got, I've actually had four, four kids. I've definitely caught myself speaking harshly to my son, even with simple things like just putting his backpack away or putting his shoes upstairs. I mean, just simple stuff like that, I'll find myself speaking in a very harsh tone that I don't speak to any other kids with. I think those are some good values. I don't... I... You know, I'm not raised from a Japanese family, but just looking in, it looks like... Uh... It is, but it's tough for the kids growing up. But there's definitely values that I do respect from the culture, for sure. It's funny you say your dad was strict and your grandfather was stricter. A lot of times I see, like even my dad as a grandpa, he acts different, way different than he does with me. How, how does your... Uh... Oh, totally. My dad as a grandfather is definitely a totally different person. It's somebody that I didn't ever see when I was growing up. It's, it's, it's really neat to see. Cool, man. That's that. Why don't you go take a look and uh, see what it looks like in the mirror? All right. All right, that's perfect. Perfect. Cool, you like it, man? Yeah, I like it a lot. I'm extremely happy with the tattoo. Everybody's excited to see it, except for my dad. He doesn't know. When I show my father, I just really want to say thank you, and I do appreciate everything that you did for me. It has brought up a lot of old feelings has happened and it, and it does make me realize how much I do love and respect my father for sure.